Hey everyone, it's Brandon at Focus IT. Wanted to make a video on how to add users to Point Central and to MyCalyx. First thing you want to do is to log into your Point Central administration website. If you do not have the credentials to log into that, reach out to us and we will send that to you through a secure email. One of the first things, once you get logged in, one of the first things you want to do is look at your users remaining right here and make sure that you have at least one license there. If your users remaining is zero, you need to reach out to Calyx and add a new license to your account. Now, once you've gotten that added, once they've added that, on the left, you need to go to configurations and parameters. And with the option of my Calyx digital key, I want you to press the button refresh digital key. And you get a message saying that that key's been saved. What that does is look at the my Calyx website and notice is that you've added more licenses. So if you have a zero here at the users remaining, it should be a one at that point. So let's go ahead and add that user. On the left, you want to go to users and add user. Then type in their full name, and their full name should be the same name that they use on their MML, MMLS number, as well as the same full name they use on page four. And then we're just also going to assign them a username and a password as well to get logged into the system. Then well, for the access, you want to check point. If you have any mobile licenses, you can also assign that. Uh, typically, you only have point licenses. And then you also add an email address as well. Then we go to add user. And then you get to the new page of the user information. We're going to skip all this and scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the button Add User to Other User Groups. And with Focus IT, a lot of times you do have these three defaulted groups. And these are your user groups. Now, what's cool about the user groups is that as you grow and add more people to your company, you can add them to a user group and it will automatically give them the permissions that they need for the data folders. Uh, depending on your company, you may have more or less or even different types of user groups uh, or not even use them at all. Uh, but typically, we use them when they're training and we do assign them when training. Uh, so we're just going to give this person just manager's rights, full rights. Um, as you see, there is a one for the processors and need see all files. Um, and then there's one just for your loan officers. That's where the full name field when adding them really is important. You just have to make sure the full name matches the name that they put on their loans. But once you choose a user group, just click add user to groups. You notice that that one line that you selected disappears. And congratulations, you have created a user in Point Central. High files all around. If you need to just double check that user, you can always go to the left, go to users, and list users and you should see that user listed with the rest of your users. All right, from here, we'll need to go to MyCalyx. You just go to MyCalyx.com, and then you'll log in here. You should see three buttons at the bottom of the page, and we're going to go to the one called Manage Point Installations. And then here at the top of the list, you should see a button that says add a user. And so we're just going to add that user. You just put their name and their email address. And then you do have the three boxes here. Uh, we're going to click the third one. The third one is what gives them access into the system. The first one is more for giving them admin permissions to get logged into this website. So you click on the third one. And then the installation group, there's usually a focus IT installation group. And just click on that one. Typically, it may have a year behind it, but in some way, it does say focus IT. And then make sure that they have the most recent version. And then you click the save button and then add them. So once they've been added, they do receive an email to install Point. Um, that email 
comes pretty quickly. It actually looks like similar to this right here. So what they want to do is click the install point hyperlink. Uh, make sure they do open it up in Internet Explorer. That's the only way that point downloads. And just follow the prompts to download point there. And once they've installed point, they will get that login prompt. And you just use their username and password that you set up on the point central admin page right here. Use those credentials to get logged in. And they are good to go. And if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to reach out to us. Thank you.